so the question is how do you set up two track roads i think that's a good mailbag question i get how what do you do and everything on that i have a two track right here that i want to show you and um you know it's kind of featureless you can look down the trails or down the two track and see if you can find some sign that being said this is awfully hard however i'm looking for trails that are leading to the road and there we got ourselves not just one pile of scat but actually two now believe it or not it's hard to tell how old that scat is in this part of the country you just don't know and i'm also interested in do i have any sign coming off off of this um not seeing any right at the current moment that being said this is what you want to look for so i know i got a coyote running the two track or or at the very least coming out of this tall grass edge and coming to the corner so let's get a set in and see what it looks like so i like the location and i'm sorry the sun is what the sun is i did a little prep work i took my spade this ground is incredibly hard and i went ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and make this into a sand post. It's already a sand post, but I'm gonna add my my good gland lure. I've already robbed a little bit of dirt because I needed that. And the next thing I gotta do is get this get this uh, trap bed figured out. I'm kind of chopping up the dirt because it is so darn dry. Now I have plenty of dirt here to do what I'm going to do. Now I'm not going to st stretch this out. I'm going to, I'm going to kind of blend this back. I'm about eight inches pan center right to, right to there. So let me get my trap bed kind of done. Okay, let's go ahead and pound in our steak and see what we got and uh, I'm setting it up for that west wind there we go I carry a drill bit with me to in case them are kind of wet couple more wax there we go a few more wax all right set it make sure pay attention it's a little weak I'm gonna tighten that up need about three and a half to four and a half pounds just a hair too much That ought to do it. We're going to get a little bit of pan tension from just having the trap set. So it's going to pick up a little bit. Yep. Nope, my trap, for whatever reason, my trap pan dropped as I was putting in a notch, so it loosened up just a little hair. I'll go with a little heavier setting. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to have the darn pan on it and it, it decide to drop on me. Because once I get some dirt on it, there we go. It's ready to fire. Unfortunately for you, you're gonna see. You're not gonna see as much of the set due to the shadowing. But the principle's the same. Let me grab a pan cover. Get that in. Give the coyote the impression that it's all a little dirt and a little bit of buffalo. So we have that. Let's take the scat that he left and uh, 
We're gonna have the gland lure right here. I don't know if he's coming down the trail or coming down the road, I don't know. So I'm gonna kinda tuck it a little bit over here toward the older pile of scat and get that done. And we wanna use our gland lure, the high hills, and I'm gonna put it right there on my little blue stem. There we go. Coyote, don't, coyote doesn't care how well that's transplanted. Just to make sure it's gonna stay upright. Then we're gonna put a little urine right there on the scat. Let's put a little urine right there. Coyote comes in, into our spot, and uh, it's gonna look good. Make it all about the same, the best you can. But I have a nice blended scent post set right where he's telling me to go. A trail and a two track coming right down the tr or coming coming right here. So I think we'll get his attention. Hopefully we'll have ourselves a catch tomorrow. Or at least the next time he comes through. I have a kind of a pond crossing. Many of us have this. And in my case, it's drier country and whatnot. But anyway, I got kind of a wet area over here and it's a way for the, it got a two track running around it. So I have a, uh, I found sign. As hard as this ground is from cattle and pickup truck tires, I found sign over here. They're walking right along this edge. Something I want to pay it to you to pay attention to is the direction I put the grass. I put it on the, on the southwest side of the two track. That's important. The wind isn't out of that direction today, but the fact is we have a predominant west-southwest wind here. So I made sure, regardless of uh, the current minute direction, I know what direction it's eventually going to go. So typical scent post set. I've got my scat, 8 to 10 inches, a little gland lure in the grass, and uh, coyote urine. So anyway, it's a good spot, but we want to come down here. I can't avoid every dang trap in the road, and, I, and finding sign was a little hard. As, like I said, you can tell, it's very hard ground. So on this side of the road, I thought it was valuable to put in a second set, a dirt hole set, for those animals I can't see, the ones I don't believe uh, have left me any sign. So this is just a typical, I don't do many of these small dirt hole sets, but I have a wobble hole right there, my trap right there. So anyway, I got a little um, Flint Hills Red Fox in the mouse hole. And behind there, I threw a stick of Oklahoma suicide about three foot, four foot away. Uh, I think I got them there, folks. It's a pretty good little set. Uh, that is set for the predominant wind. So for those coyotes I'm not seeing, I'm, I got a shot at getting that guy too. So. Anyway, we'll keep going, but that's how I'm setting up this part of my pasture, and uh, we'll see what I see over the next hill. So another interesting location is belly enders around gate openings. We know how coyotes follow down the road and different things like that, but I also see over here, if we look, we're going to see that the it's clear underneath there. So they're good. There's something's belly and under and keeping the tumbleweed out of that spot. So I just simply put in a walk through trail set right there. Just a simple scent post without an attractor. Just some gland lure smeared in the grass, a little urine, and uh, we got a set. So anyway, all of these tumbleweeds are in a spot, but that area is open. So I think it's a good chance, even though I had limited amount of sign, um, I believe that's a good zone. So the call, or my high hills gland ought to call them of interest as they come across this area.